In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take your RSI signal and turn it into an algorithm. Check it out. There's a few things that you need in order to get this episode to work. First, you need a way to get the RSI value into your expert advisor, and I show you how to do that on the previous episode. Secondly, you need to make sure you've got a working MetaTrader 5 terminal. That's really important so we can see if it's actually working. Once you've got those things sorted out, let's continue. First, we need to start by building our RSI algorithm function. So let's do that. We'll do that by heading down below the previous area where we had the RSI indicator, and we'll add in our function there. Do this. Okay, RSI algorithm function. Okay. Thank you, Copilot, for making my life easier here. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to get this RSI algorithm function to return one of three strings or signals. First will be a buy signal, which means buy. Second will be a sell signal, which means sell. And one will be a hold, which is where we expect most of our signals to land. So let's do that. So RSI algorithm. Okay. And to do this, we're going to add in a few things. So we'll add in this double, which will be the RSI value. Okay this to say if the value is below 30 return by so if RSI value is less than 30 return by else if the value is above 70 return sell which is great and by default return hold so far so good let's compile it make sure that that functions all working okay and you can see here that it's all compiled with no issues Next, we want to add this into our tick function. So let's do that now. So we're going to get a string, which is our signal. And that's going to come from the RSI algorithm. And we're going to pass it this value of the RSI that we covered in the previous episode. Okay, now if the signal is equal to buy, we'll print buy signal. And if the signal is equal to sell, we're going to do that. And just for troubleshooting, uh, purposes we're going to add in this one initially just to see what happens so let's just compile that again okay we've got no issues I'll head over to the MetaTrader 5 window which is here here's our RSI trading bot tutorial and you can see that we're currently having it as hold which is great okay so let's continue with this I'll get rid of that now there's a couple of things that we might want to do here first thing is, as cool as it is to have this 30 and 70 values, what you might find is that every single uh, asset has its own RSI values that are the most optimal. And in a later episode, I'll actually show you how to do the optimization part. So what we actually want here is a couple of inputs that will allow us to make these a little bit more dynamic and therefore able to apply them to other assets. So let's do that now. Okay, so input int, which is going to be RSI high. Okay, which will be 70. And then RSI low, which is going to be 30. So start off with this default. And then we head back to our RSI algorithm. And we add this to RSI low. Make that RSI high. Compile it again. It's all working. And we'll go back to our MetaTrader 5. Okay, and we're still getting hold and just a quick reminder if you've been following my previous episodes you can always update a few of the cool different parameter levels for this trading bot algorithm here so that was the envelope signal let me just get this okay so you can see here you can change this to 14 and here are your RSI high and RSI low values in the next episode then I'll talk to you and show you how to convert this RSI algorithm into an actual trade so head over there and check out my next one. See you there.